Hello and welcome back to Sales Funnels Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to change the background on ClickFunnels. Now there's a few different ways to do it, so I'm going to quickly how to show you how to do all of that. Uh, so how to change the background for the entire page, how to change the background for a section, row, or column. Before we get started, make sure that you like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload brand new videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so here I am in our sales funnel made easy funnel that we've been working on over the last few days. I'm just going to go ahead and change the first one, our opt-in. So I'm going to click on edit page. And when you see this page, you're going to see that the background is blue. Uh, we don't want it. It's ugly or whatever it is. Maybe you want a car picture or something along those lines. To change the background of the entire page, we're going to go up to settings and go down to background. As you can see, it is blue in color. What we can do is we can change that to red if we wanted to, um, and that should make the change. Now with this one, it actually looks like nothing happened, but if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see this bottom layer is actually red. So what that means is, is that the individual section has the color blue as well. So if we went over to this widget or settings icon, and maybe we change this to white, you can see now that that actually changed the background for this section. And if we added a new section down here, if we just click this plus sign, and we'll just say full width, you could tell, as you can see, this background is red. So when you go up to settings and you go to background, it's going to change it for the entire, the entire page, but the sections still have an override or still control each individual section. So what we can do now is we have a few different options. One thing that I want to show you is how to add an image. So if we go to settings and we click on background again, we can go to image right here. And let's just grab an image that I want to use. Let's just grab this one in the bottom right hand corner. We'll click add image. And if I delete the section here, you'll be able to see the, the image. But um, let's go ahead. I'm going to just add something right here so that you can see that there is a difference. All right. So if I click on this settings icon again, we can change our background image. And let's change it to this computer here. Now things are going to be a little bit hard to read for a moment, but as you can see, this worked out perfectly and you can see there are two different images. Now what we can do within each section is we could change the, the, the row um, and the row is denoted by this blue. So if we clicked on settings here, we can do an image if we wanted to, or we can change the background color. So let's change the background color first. We'll change that to this color here. And as you can see, things are starting to look pretty cluttered and pretty busy. Now what we can do here is we can also change this to a color if we wanted to. Uh, we can change this to um, multiple repeating and doing all sorts of things. Uh, if we wanted to, we, we have a lot of options. So let's go ahead. Um, let's see if we can change this to green. What we would probably have to do though is change or remove the image first because the image overrides it. But as you can see, there are a number of options. Um, I'm just going to click settings again. If we wanted to, we could add, we could add an image instead. Uh, again, that's going to look pretty busy, but we can change this. So let's say white, if we wanted to, again, that looks, that looks pretty wild. Um, so now that, all right. So now that we've changed the section, the row, let's go ahead and change the column, but to change the column, it's actually a little bit different. You don't just go in and press the, the gear icon. You have to go up to columns up here. And you have to find the column that you want to change. So if we wanted to change the first column here, we're going to click on this edit button. And then again, we can change the color if we wanted to to bright red. And that will actually change the column. So I did extreme color so that you could see the difference. Um, down here, we changed the overall color of the entire page. So if I deleted all of this up here, this would be the background for everything. In addition, we changed the, the background of the section that's denoted by this image. And then within the section, we changed the color of the row, which is the white one. Within the row, we changed the color of the actual column, uh, which is this color here. Now, if we want, really wanted to, we could go through and we could change the individual sections also. So if we do that, we can change this to another extreme color here. Let's try black. All right. So as you can see, again, this is getting pretty crazy that we have done five basically different changes. We've changed the, the entire page. 
we changed the section, we've changed the row, which is white, columns are red, and then this individual element is black. So we made a ton of changes. It looks really bad. I'm going to change it back once this video is over. But as you can see, we went, we made, we made multiple changes, relatively easy. Make sure that you like subscribing the bell notification if this video or any other video on this channel helped you out. This is Sales Funnels Made Easy with another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.